Hey everybody, Angry Clones here doing a Let's Play of Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we uh, we defeated a couple gym leaders, I think, and then now we're here we are south of Pallet Town. Let's see. And we are going to take the short route to Cinnabar Island. Just head straight down here from Pallet Town. Shouldn't take but a few screens to get there. Hopefully we can avoid any trainers along the way. Yeah, these guys who are like standing on land, they won't fight you unless you're standing on land too, so you don't really need to worry about them very much. Ugh! I guess I'll leave this fight in. It really doesn't matter one way or the other. Only well, got one Pokemon. Wow, we are badly underleveled. Ugh, okay. Hopefully that's the last one that we have to fight. Yeah, here we are. Alright. Here we are on Cinnabar Island. Let's go ahead and take on the gym leader. And the door is locked. Oh, that's so evil. Alright, well. Let's heal, our, let's heal our Pokemon real fast. Yep, so we can't get into the uh, gym yet. The door is locked. So we're going to have to settle for the uh, fiery town of Burning Desire. Wow. Pokemon Mansion here. This is where we want to go. Now, I'm going to use a Repel, because there are wild Pokemon in here that will jump out at you. Hopefully we can get through this place in just three max Repels. It's not a very big dungeon. Anyway. Uh, come to the second floor and head around this way. What in the world? Definitely have a repel out there right now. Oh man. We got wild Pokemons from higher levels than ours coughing out. That's not good. Wow. It's not cool, man. Hyper Beam. Take it out. Wow, that's amazing. There we go. Anyway, head up these stairs to the third floor. And these Mewtwo statues here are switches. And what they do is they open and close the little grates that are around here. Anyway, I think we're going to want to... Ooh, I think it's this one. Jump off here. Yeah, I was right. It's that one. Come down to the bottom floor. He's not a required fight. That guy there is not a required fight. He will drop down. Take this up. And then down here. That's where we need to go next. We're gonna run over here. Avoid this guy. Ugh. Anyway, avoid this guy. Come down here and reactivate this, this statue here. And they're gonna run around where we just came from. 
And head up this way. Oh my god! Anyway, head up here. Avoid this guy. Let's see, I think... Yeah, go up here and get this. That's TM14 Blizzard. That's a really powerful Ice-type move. Once you've got that, then come in here and push this switch. And then run over here. You can pick up this. Da da da! The secret key! And that's how we get into the gym. And down here is TM22 Solar Beam. Alright, now we've got everything that we need from here, and we can go ahead and leave. Ugh. Gotta push the switch again and get out. We go right back up the stairs. Ugh. And we have to go over here and do this again to get out. We have to work right backwards to get out. Do everything you did before, instead of going in reverse order. And head this away. up these stairs again. Now we can exit. Let's see if we can get out of here. Oh. Okay. Whew, and that's done. Goodness. Let's heal up again. Alright. Now we head over to the gym. Now this gym is a very peculiar one. Basically, there are trainers that you, that you can or cannot, you don't have to fight them, basically. If you don't want to, you can go over to this machine and answer a question, see if the door open. Get it right, and the door opens to the next room. Get it wrong, and face a trainer. You want to conserve Pokemon for the gym leader? Then get it right. Here we go. Caterpie evolves in the Metapod. Hmm, yes. Da 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 da. Absolutely correct. Alright. Beautiful. I don't know why, but here there are two trainers, and then only one question. Very strange. Let's see what it is. Pokemon quiz! Get it right! Yeah, get it wrong. Okay? Yeah, get it right. There are nine Gym League badges. No, there are eight. You guys should know that just from looking at our trainer card. Get it right, get it wrong, get your energy, get the Pokemon. Poliwag evolves three times. No! Evolves twice. Once in a Poly Whirl, and then again in a Poly Wrath or Poly Toad. I'm trying to confuse you there. It can only evolve twice. Get it right, get it wrong, get the gym leader, get it right. All right. Are electric type moves effective against ground type Pokemon? No, they do 0% damage. And again, when you're coming through here, you can answer these questions, but really I would recommend you go ahead and fight. Like, and this goes for the entire game. Go ahead and fight every single trainer that you see. And just, just because I'm doing off-screen leveling for this Let's Play. Which means that I'm going to go off-screen and level these guys like before we go to the Elite Four and before we go to some of the... Uh, what? That's so, that's so not cool. I already answered it right the first time. Ugh. Oh, whatever. At any rate, like I was saying, go through and fight, like, and this goes for the entire playthrough of the game. Fight every trainer you come across. That's the only way to get your Pokemon to high enough levels to win at the end. Tombstoney. Hmm, definitely not. It's not even a move. Alright, and then that was the last question. Yep, here we are. 
at the gym leader. And the first time I got here, I thought you could like answer two questions and not have to fight him, and I was really excited about it, but no, you can't. You had to fight him. But we'll do that at the beginning of the next video, so I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. See you then.